a tough loss for us. Uh, Harvard played well. Uh, we just uh, we didn't put enough uh, offense, defense, and special teams together for a win today. Athletes, Jack Trainer, Ryder Stone. Ryder, the offense seemed to be clicking on all cylinders in the first quarter. Well, what, what happened? Did Harvard change their defensive look? Did something just kind of stop working? What was going to change? I mean, I think the biggest thing is we just didn't quite execute on key situations. We had a couple third downs that we came up just short. I know I had a couple runs that were just short that would have made situations a lot easier. I think the guys played really hard. We just needed to make bigger plays right when they're important. Yeah, like you said, I mean, it seems like every week we're in a battle in the last couple of minutes. Um, up until that last uh, interception, we thought we were right in it. I mean, obviously, we kind of had a lag in uh, kind of execution and focus towards the middle there. Kind of flipped the script today. Um, yeah, just didn't make plays when we needed to. There were a bunch of opportunities for us to kind of claw their runs, and we just didn't do it. Yeah, I mean, he was, he was getting out and kind of extending plays. Um, it was an emphasis. We, tried, we were trying to keep him in the pocket. I mean, just kind of great, making great kind of uh, improvisational plays right there. I mean, I'm an athletic young guy, but yeah, I just didn't, didn't give him that when he should have. Jack, it didn't work out, but talk about the confidence the coach had in you and the defense in going for it deep in your own territory, the confidence that he showed in you. Yeah, I mean, we, we believed the offense was going to get it, and we knew that if. Um, Something didn't happen. We were going to do our best to kind of shut it down. I mean, we have utmost uh, respect and trust for everyone on this team, so we know we're going to pick anyone up when any any outcome is to happen. Right? Did you feel when Jack ran for that touchdown? Did you sort of feel, wow, we're going to do it again. We're going to pull it out again. I mean, I mean, I have total faith in our team. It's just we've, we've shown we can do it before, and we just had a couple little things that didn't quite turn out right this time. Intensity of the next game never changes based off of the outcome of the last game. We're going to come out and we're going to play our asses off. Oops, sorry, play our butts <laughs> off as hard as we can and make the most out of it. Jack, I, I, I know it is incredibly frustrating to lose to Harvard, but can you put into words that frustration? I mean, you guys. I mean, yeah, as you, as you can see, we. We, we had control of that game, I felt like, in the first half. And for whatever reason, we're kind of, we kind of labeled ourselves a second half team. And for whatever reason, we kind of didn't come out in the second half with the energy that we should have. There were a couple of plays at the end of the first half that were maybe uh, questionable, whatever. You got to live with that. Um, keep fighting. And um, yeah, it's, it's impossible to put in the words of frustration we kind of have right now. I mean, that game was definitely, um, we, had, we had a clear opportunity to take control and win that game. We just didn't do it. I think uh, Harvard played, defended us very, very well. Uh, you know, their front, uh, you know, we thought we might be able to run the football a little bit more productively, and that the first half we did okay with it. Uh, second half, not so much. So I, I wouldn't say that uh, it was he didn't do well. It's just, uh, it was a tough outfit that we were playing against, and we know that historically Harvard does a nice job on defense. Yeah, it, uh, you know, it's always something. You know, never quite sure what it's going to be, but that's been the deal. You know, we felt we were ready to play today. And, uh, obviously, it's an emotional game. That we knew they'd be ready to play and you know, started off well and just didn't follow up the second half. Can you talk about that, that decision to go for it on fourth and one at your 30? You know, it's fourth and that much. you got to get that. And uh, we didn't. Uh, we 
talked all week long, our, our line offensively versus their defensive front, their, uh, our defensive front against their offensive line. And uh, in that situation, they came out on top. It was you know, a critical, critical down. You're punting away, who knows what might happen. Uh, you got to believe your team is going to pick it up in that, in that situation. What was the explanation you got on the fair catch? The game? Yeah, so the guy um, was blocked into him? Yeah, uh, that was a side judge said that uh, one of the guys was blocked into our return guy. Uh, obviously, that's a pivotal point. You know, you're going up, uh, going 14 zip and feeling pretty good and you know, figuring, okay, if it's an interference call, we'll get the ball at the 50 yard line, we get two timeouts, and, and we're good to go. Uh, you know, winded our back, maybe come away with three points or something, and all of a sudden it's you know, their ball in your territory. Uh, they get down a score, so it was just it. You know, it could have been a, t a great situation for us, and it turned into a wonderful situation for them, and uh, made it a much closer ball game. They came out, inspired, played a very, very solid second half. Coach, I asked Jack the same thing, but from a coach's perspective, how to close as a coach against a guy like Smith, and then not much tape on him, and then here he is, this extended plays, and you think he got, and he goes for the 12 yard. You know, he, he was the difference. Uh, he just. He, Puts the pressure. There's no place to go with the ball. We get some guys covered down. All of a sudden, he pops, you know, multiple times. And uh, you know, I give, give him credit. We were very concerned about that aspect of it. Said we had to contain and control him. And I'm not sure we had a sack. Uh, he's tucked too thin down in the pocket. He put a lot of pressure. And there's a lot of times he had to pull it down and uh, make a play. And he, that's exactly what he did. And we had difficulty for that matter, uh, a reason, reason getting him off the field. And you know, limit your offensive opportunities. And offensively, we weren't productive. Third down has been a problem all year long. We saw it again today. So he, uh, he's, a, he's a great player, and I wish he was older than he is. A few things to the block pump. Was it seemed like they were getting closer and closer. And yeah, uh, the operation time, I'm not sure how, how quick that was. It may, may have been a, just, a, uh, just a tick or two slow. Uh, but you know, we protected the front before. They did. They collapsed. Uh, honestly, they were close in one prior to, and that one was solid. They just they got it all, and certainly was was at a very bad time for us. Did Davis get hurt on the play? Uh, it tweaked his hand a little bit, but I think it'll be okay. Coach, uh, all season, Coach Murphy's been talking about the parity of the Ivy League. You've been at a historic level of parity. Um, what, what is your perspective on that? Yeah, pretty accurate. You know, every week somebody's uh, in the mix. I'm not sure the outcomes today, but they're generally not very lopsided wins. Uh, it's it's Quality of play, a lot of different schools has risen. I think uh, programs have put a lot into it, and, and there's great greater balance. It's wonderful for the league. It's a tough way to make a living, though. I mean, you, you have to. There are still things to play for. I mean, you know, it happened before the Smiths were on, so that means you have a great offense. Yeah, no, you're exactly right. You know, we just we've got to. You know, this this hurts, obviously. Uh, we'll get back on the bus and go back and prepare for Cornell up at our place next week. So. Uh, these guys are resilient, and I expect them to bounce back. But it is—it's a tough loss, and, you know, a game that we thought we had an opportunity to win. But I mean, uh, this year of all years, it seems like there might be a chance to do it with two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Still games ahead, three to go.